Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how we got this prom inspired look, just keep on watching. Today we're using my cousin as a hair model and as you can see I have preset her hair. We already did the curls and I do have a video up if you guys want to check that out on how to do curls. So for the first part of this look, all you need to do is divide the hair in half and just pin it away so that it's not in your way as you're working with the bottom set. Now on the bottom, what we're going to do is just a simple pony and actually invert it. So there are tools that you can use, like the topsy tools and stuff like that. I just use my hands. It's pretty simple. You just loosen up your pony and take it and just flip it right in as so. Very simple, guys. Then you want to pull some hairs out. You can make this as messy as you like. I think that's pretty good so I'll just keep it at that then you're going to actually do this step again so it doesn't really matter how high you make your pony um, it's still your preference I just take it from her temples and divide it in half when you're doing this pony just make sure you leave some face framing pieces in the front it just makes the updo look softer prettier you guys already know here we're just gonna go and make our pony once again and instead of flipping it up we're gonna flip it through the bottom same technique just in a different direction do the exact same thing pull some hairs out and we're actually going to make a whole pony for this pony you're not gonna tie the two pieces together all the way at the top you will leave a little space so that you are able to divide it and do your inverted pony as you can see here it gave us a technique that kind of resembles the fishtail braid without having to do a fishtail braid here you're just going to pull apart some pieces to your liking again make sure that you have fun with this because you can make it as messy as big or as neat as you want for the final pieces on the top you will divide those in half as well Take your mohawk section and divide it out of your way. Make sure for this section, since it is the top and it's the first thing people see when they look at you from the front view, that you do comb it and make it as clean as possible. And then you're just gonna twist and pull. Here, we're going to bobby pin some pieces. If you don't feel that you can connect it as I did, I just took it and put it around my pony and then I started making my little buns and pinning those I didn't use a whole lot of bobbies there continue to take those pieces of hair and just pin them upwards you can pull through and make it bigger my cousin has quite a bit of hair so we decided to keep that a little bit sleeker on your mohawk section you will divide it in half and take your left piece, comb it down as such, and pin it towards the right side of your hair. Here you can make the front a little bit messy because we don't want it to be perfectly laid flat. And remember, this is the first thing people see when they look at you, so try your best to make it as clean and sleek as possible. Then you're gonna take your last piece from that top divided section, pin it to the left, here I'm just using the tail of my brush just to give it a nice clean line. Here you're going to pin it so that it's not going to move. We don't want you to lose any pieces during the night ladies. So make sure your hair is secured. And you're going to repeat. So this look is very repetitive. It's basically pinning to the side and pulling buns. Super easy. I promise you guys you can do this in 15 minutes. Literally did this look in 15 minutes. And if you see any hairs where you want a little more curl or a little more body, go through and customize it to your client's liking. For the purpose of this video, we made sure that it was prom ready.
any pieces that you see that could use a nice little comb through, make sure you do that. Don't neglect the pieces. And just keep pinning until that middle section is complete. And here at the bottom, you're going to make your last and final ponytail. And do the exact same thing, inverting the ponytail. Gives it that beautiful messy look and you can pull it through, make it as messy as you want. You could leave that part loose if you want it and just curl it all the way. But I decided just to pin it all up. That way if you want to dance, or if you're sweaty, your hair doesn't get messed up. I would love to see your recreated looks. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.